Today is 1st January 2019. This is the main neuter, 7 year old domestic short hair cat. Now you can see that the ear is clipped, so this has been sterilized. Oh, this is Singapore's way of showing that oh, okay. the stray cat has been uh, neutered. Oh, you come, what, what is the complaint? So first you ask what, what is the problem, the complaint? Uh, I think it's like having indigestion and like vomiting. How many days? Oh, vomiting, ah, and cough. Uh, how many days? About five. Five days, huh? Yeah. So that's the main thing, huh? so that's the, the owner's complaint. Huh? Mm -hmm. And then, anything else? Oh, uh, weight loss and like he's always sleeping nowadays. Lethargic, right? Mm -hmm. Any more? Mm -hmm. So you get a history, so this is the history, okay, then bring the cat up. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you can pull, pull him out. Uh. Is this a very fierce cat? No, this guy no, is not okay. Male or female, so someone they are quite fierce. Uh, I'm it. This is how the father does it. Uh. But, yeah. but many owners don't like it. Many, many cat lovers don't like this way because mm -hmm. they think it's, it's painful, but actually it's not. Yeah. That's how the mother does it. Uh. Scrub, scrub them. Uh. See? Okay, uh, so we wait uh, first. Uh, Wait already, yeah, 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 5.2. Right. So we weigh the cat and after that, the temperature? 39.9 39.9, there's a fever Normal temperature is 39.5 39.9, okay, so not eating, I presume? Mm, still eating, uh, but less, uh, not, yeah. not, 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 not that much No appetite, uh. no appetite uh, but eating, uh, right? Yeah Then drinking? Uh, <laughs> Actually, I think, this, okay. I think this cat is not belong to us It's yeah, a stray cat It's just yeah. the void deck that we think that it's not oh, Okay, so this is one of those uh, <laughs> Uh, what do you call that? Uh? Abandoned one. Uh. Uh, I think they, they, they previously... No, it's abandoned a stray cat. Uh, we call yeah, it a stray, stray cat. cat. Yeah. And then they feed the cat, which, which I used to do last time when I was a child. I mean, when I was a young man. Sometimes we just feed downstairs. Uh. Then, then after that, it just runs off. Right? Yeah, sure, not, 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 not. Huh? The previous time I brought okay, then, the cat to the, the, the vet. Also. Uh, so, this is a... Oh, this is nothing to do with this, right? No, no, this for this cat, last time. Yeah, last no, time, last time one. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Doctor Syrup. Yeah, but that one is different thing. Uh. Last time was what, what problem? What problem was that? Almost also the same. Cough, uh. Also coughing. Then uh, the doctor said got stove inside very hard. Stove. And constipation. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah, but this is a long ago one, right? Oh, uh, no. Uh, August, August. August yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's not, not, not related to this problem. Uh. Now, straight cats, mm -hmm. they normally suffer a lot of problems because they, they are not at home. Uh. Mm -hmm. So they're exposed to uh, uh, being beaten up, car accidents and infection. Uh. This cat probably not vaccinated, right? Against? Against the viruses. No, uh, normally, street cats, they don't get vaccinated. So, so uh, one of the problems is uh, flu. Uh, they have got flu? Yeah, that's for flu. Uh, yeah, so they get flu and sometimes they get leukemia viruses and other viruses. So now, now anyway, the main thing is this cat has a fever. Mm. That's, that's the reason why it's very sleepy. Uh. Mm. Uh, and so as I start the physical examination, if the history, then we go and check the the membranes, uh, mucous membrane. See whether it's pale or not. It's not pale. Uh. Check the gums. See the gums. Uh. Check whether it's dehydrated. Now this is called the capillary review time. Uh. So normally it's one second. Uh, but this one you can see the color comes back. Comes back a long time. You see it takes a long time to come back. Uh, normally it's just one second the color comes back. So definitely there is some dehydration. Uh, no, look at the ulcers. Uh. Any mouth ulcers? No. No mouth ulcers. So this is the head. Physical examination. Check the lymph nodes. Submandibular. This scapula, very fast check. Now some cats are okay like this for long. Some cats you don't like it. Actually you just video, I just take your call, but it's probably faster for you. Never mind anyway, I'll go through you later. So you just see that next one, lymph nodes. A bit enlarged, but not much, so it's okay. Now, the main complaint is actually vomiting, right? Yeah, and coughing. Uh. Coughing. Uh. Higher, la. Okay. Coughing and vomiting different, you know. Mm. So, are you sure it's the. Show me the video? Uh. Yeah. Show me the video. Is it the real con? No, they have a video. Uh. Yeah. Ah, no, well, they like not, it. Uh, ah. a pain here, so it's a true population that confirms her. Uh, sure, sure. The sore throat. Why you have a video? Uh. Coughing. Ah, you, you have it? Where? Yeah. No more already? Mm. How many times you cough? Quite often. How many days? Is it onset? Duration? 
Maybe let me do this cap. Wait. Do, do, when was this video taken? Few days back. Oh, it come? Um, see. Sunday. No more, right? a few seconds, right? Yeah. Okay. So today is it coughing? Oh, we didn't see him cough today. Sunday means yesterday, yeah. The day before. Today is what day? Today is Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday. So Sunday we took the video. The coughing and not eating. Okay, let's check that. I check the heart. Heart and lungs are checked. You can hear the sounds, the fast breathing sound. So what she says is correct, no? There's some lung infection. Heart is okay. Now you look at the respiratory rate, no? Usually it should be 40 per minute. You can see it's quite fast. So you see. This way you count over 60 seconds. Uh. You go at 60 seconds and you count the how many. Uh, definitely. Can I do 15 seconds as well? Can, yeah. Any, anyway, it's definitely more than 40. So, fast respiratory rate. So, it's uh, one of the signs of uh, upper respiratory tract infection. Uh. Then I check the abdomen. The palpation normally. If you do on, on the few thousand cap, you can feel uh, what's wrong, what's not wrong. So there's nothing wrong with the liver, nothing wrong with the kidneys, nothing wrong. But this can be in past motion, right? Mm. Yeah, it could be in past motion. Weather is okay. Then turn upside down. Where you return for me? So far, it seems to be good at handling cats. You are the cat catcher. <laughs> Huh? You ever catch cats for them? Uh? <laughs> huh? Yes, we that. Huh? You ever does? Uh? Mm. No, there are some people who go and catch cats for neutering, you know? Oh, no. Mm. So I thought you are one of those people who are going to eat Very good. So this is definitely the... Check whether it's a male or female. Huh? Definitely it's a male. Huh? Mm. A neuter. Okay. Anyway, I, okay, turn, turn, turn. you can see generally this cat is in good health huh? because you see there's no hair loss here. And there's no licking. Bye bye. bye bye. Okay. I don't know whether you're working or not. Let's see if there's no diarrhea. It's very clean. But it may have some worms. Uh, it looks like uh, one of those tape worms. Uh, but it's hard to say. But has it been dewormed? No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. No. okay, Ken. So, uh, so this uh, fiscal examination. Uh. So now, after fiscal examination, roughly, we know that this cat has uh, some upper respiratory tract infection. Uh, the sounds are very loud, the, the lung sounds. Uh, normally, you can't, you can't hear the lung sounds. Uh, and uh, the throat is painful, so so that's why he stops eating and there's a fever. Uh. So the other thing is the test. Uh, now there, are, there are tests to check on uh, the blood, the liver and the kidney. Mm -hmm. the vomiting, was it really vomiting? Uh, yeah. Uh, so one of the causes is liver or kidney disease. Uh. Mm. Then, because uh, this is a straight case, so I ask you whether you want to do it or not. Do it. Uh, okay. Then uh, we will treat it uh, with IV drip to, uh, dehydration. Uh, because you've been sick for some time, right? And you can't eat uh, for at least today. Uh, so that's the method of treatment. No? Now, so the diagnosis is concerned is most likely upper respiratory tract infection. Uh, but I mean, because to save money, we don't x-ray first because it costs money. <coughs> but blood test is uh, important. Huh? So we'll, we'll give an IV drip and antibiotics and painkillers and relieve the throat pain. Huh? And as well as to cure the infection. Then uh, about two days, it should be fully recovered. Then the best you keep at home. Huh? Huh? I mean, yeah, the best. Yeah. Otherwise, you come back again, same problem. Huh? Yeah. Huh? So, this this all true. Of course, the, there are a few possibilities. Someone is infection because he's not been vaccinated, huh? and the other thing, of course, is toxic. Like maybe he stepped on something and then he licked, he licked his paws, mm. he licked his paws, and then he went to the throat and burned his throat. Really. Mm. Because straight cats, they, they they just walk all over the place. They don't know, mm. and uh, so they, these are the two possibilities. The blood test will show if the blood test shows high. Uh, white blood cells, that means this is a bacterial infection. No? Mm. You, you want to study back? Don't. Okay, so finish already.